he, whatever, um, he started fondling me or whatever and, um, took off my clothes and then took off his clothes. Okay, well, let's go back to fondling. Mm -hmm. Fondling can be a lot of things. Yeah. I can fondle and receive. Where did he fondle you at? Um, pretty much, I'd say, from my neck to my thighs. Mm -hmm. my thighs. The reason I ask this is because I have to look at it in regards to an investigation at a police officer. So if one were to fondle your shoulder, mm -hmm. I don't think that would be a no. criminal act. So what what specific areas? Um, my stomach, my breasts, my butt. Okay, anyone else? Do you know what ejaculation is? Yes. What is ejaculation? It's when the semen comes out of the penis. Okay. Did he ejaculate or anything Not like that? Know. Did he relieve himself of any way? Not that I know. Is there any way he could have done it and you want to know it? Um, not that I am aware of. Where did you feel his penis at? You said you felt it. Um, my leg and my hand. Okay. So you felt it in your hand. Not, it, I or wasn't. W with your hand or something. Yeah. How, how was that? I mean, that's what I'm trying to find out here. What was going on that you felt it with your hand? Um, I am just moving my arm as far as I can. So you just brushed up against it? Yeah, I wasn't. Okay. And how long do you think this happened? An hour, hour and a half. And this happened at what location? At his house on Camelback Farm. The house, not the condo. Not the condo. I don't think he has the, the condo anymore. Okay. So it happened at the house, okay? In the guest house. Being a man, I can only reflect from a man's point of view and apologize for that because I can't think oh. about a woman. What would what would have caused this to stop? What would cause it to stop? Yeah, you're, you're fondling. Oh, this is going I don't up. know. He went to the bathroom and started the shower. He went to the bathroom, started to shower. Mm -hmm. Was he mad when he went to the bathroom? He... I don't think so. He just, what did he say? He didn't really say anything. He just got up and went to the shower? And then he came and got me. Okay. How did he start to touch your breast? This might be easier. <laughs> Pretending that my hand is your breast, show me how he, how he touched your breast. Well, it was just kind of like my... He started like going like this on my stomach, just like, and then it just kind of moved up. Okay, but can you show me on your hand? Take your hand and show me what he had done. Was it, well, hold your hand down. Was he rubbing or was he squeezing or what was he doing that he began to touch your breast? More just like rubbing or brushing again. Okay, was it above the clothing or below the clothing? I believe it was above. How did it upset you before? Um, because I felt, I didn't understand. And um, he didn't kiss me, and I knew that um, he had told me before that he thought kissing was more intimate than sex, and so I just felt really cheap and used. He says that he feels really bad that I feel so horrible, and he says that we both need to pray for God's forgiveness, and he would put his hand on my stomach or... Um, down my pants, but not down my underwear. How far down your pants? Um, just his hand would be like resting on my um, lower stomach. He has his hand down your pants, inside or outside your underwear? Outside outside your underwear is he actually got contact with the labia part of your vaginal area mm -hmm. okay. and, um, I was sitting in the passenger seat and I only had on a sweatshirt and that was what he had requested he had requested how did he request that um, through the computer I don't remember if through the computer or on the phone do you have underwear on no 
You just had this sweater? Mm-hmm. How long ago was this? He was on top of me and touching me and then... Okay, and once again, I apologize, but I gotta know where. Where was he touching you? Um, mostly just my stomach and my breasts. Mostly, did he touch your vaginal area? Um, I, I really can't remember. After, I mean, I kind of just turned myself off and I wasn't really thinking. I was kind of laying there. And he used to tell me all the time that he wished I was 30. I don't know, I'm really scared. Why are you scared? Because I don't feel safe. What? He said that. The thing that he was having the most problem with was sex, because he said that he didn't want to have sex, but I don't know, we didn't really get into it because I said that um, I wasn't ready at the time to make an honest challenge with anybody, Mm -hmm. trying to not drink and have sex and stuff like that, but I think that he's probably like, he told me that he was struggling with it, so I took that as He's been either having sex or really wanting to have sex with somebody, and um, I don't know if he had or hadn't. And he's not dealing with it very well. Let me ask this: In the times, of course, you know, you're eight. Did he have an erection? Do you know what an erection is? Mm-hmm. Did he have an erection? Not that I know of. I didn't see it. I didn't touch it. I don't. In the time that you brushed your hand against, was it erect? I couldn't tell, I just felt his skin. Um, he gave me a disposable camera to, and um, my friend Steven took, and he wanted a whole roll of me. So, well, not like special requests, but um, when I wore, he wouldn't let me wear my overalls. Um, and he didn't actually come out and say that they excited him or whatever, but he wouldn't let me wear my overalls. And like one night I had on a black, just like a black slip dress, simple, and I had a um, khaki shirt over it, and it was buttoned up and everything, and he was like, oh no, I can't look at you, and I'm like, why? Because I mean, I wore this outfit to church, mm-hmm. and he's just like, well, I don't know, I can't look at you, you're hurting me with this outfit, and I was just like, he made me feel like I look like a slut. I Now I think it was kind of weird that he was spending every night of the summer with a 16-year-old girl, it was a 16-year-old girl, you? Yeah, as far as I know. I mean, we saw each other almost every day. I basically did not see my friends the whole summer. Basically, you just kind of told them that there's a relationship. Well, I stayed at his house the other night because I was scared. At Stevens? Yeah. Anything. Okay. What do you think should happen to Kevin? Um, oh, Amanda's gut feeling. I just want him to learn a lesson, I don't, I'm not out to like get revenge or like I want him to spend a hundred nights in jail or anything. I still like, it's really hard for me because I still want to think that he was the good guy and that it's really hard. Um, when I thought the whole time that he really cared about me. I had boys on the side and he rented um, this movie called The Last Seduction and it's not like an X-rated movie but it has a definite like sexual exploitation um it was kind of like the crying game did you ever see that mm-hmm. i don't remember exactly what it was about it was about like some guy that was actually a girl or some girl that was actually a guy and he went at this yeah i didn't work okay when he came back out did you see his penis i didn't really i was just curious as to whether he had an erection or no no, he didn't have one? I don't think so, no. Did you guys sleep together that night in the bed? Yeah. Okay, but nothing happened? No. Else? Uh, one time his brother was there, so, and one time I think Denise may have been there. But the house is so, that's, I never actually parked at his house. He always, we always met somewhere, and then he would come get me or whatever. Okay, what incident would have been the brother? Um, I think that was the one, I spent the night, but nothing really happened. In what room? Um, it started off in his bedroom and then I spent the night in the guest house. Yeah, so are you concerned about other people being treated as you were treated? Mm-hmm. Do you think the way you were treated is right? No. 
At any time did he say he never wanted to see you again? No. Well, that's my concern too. And I think he's taken advantage of you. That's my opinion. Okay, I wonder, how old are you? I just turned 17. You're just about 18? In 11 months. <laughs> so you're almost an adult? Be afraid to argue with me, okay? If I'm saying something you don't agree, talk to me about it, okay? I know that he has, like, well, the main reason why it took me so long to say anything to anybody is because I also had relationships with other people, like his family member, I mean, Lori and, um, woman Virginia, and I'm just afraid of, like, what they're, I mean, I, they're not bad, mean people, but I'm just afraid of, Who's Lori in Virginia? Um, Lori. Lori Mills, Mills is in Virginia is one of his friends too. I don't know if they know or not, but um, I just don't know like what their reaction is gonna be, cause they know where I live, they know my phone number, they know where I go to school. We'll take care of that issue. I'd like you to call us and talk to them. About these incidents, he wants to know what's being said, and that basically what I'd like to do is what's called a confrontation call, and this helps your credibility. Okay, and this helps you out basically, and we can probably arrange it for Christian to be with you when it's done. But just call him, confront him on the issues, and tell him that you need it to stop, and uh, he don't mind being a friend and things like that. This portion of the sexual contact, the rubbing, the touching has got well, to stop. Well, that hasn't happened in a while. I know. But we got to assure that it's not going to anymore. And basically just talk to him about it. But I don't want to be his friend anymore. Well, I understand. I just... Um... Do you think because someone is a friend of you, they have the right to treat you in the way that you've described that he's treated you? No. If the rest of the world doesn't allow to do that, why should we allow him? I don't think that he should be allowed. It's just. And if he gets away with this, what's going to stop him? Nothing. 